It's that time of year again, transfer deadline day. It's been a relatively quiet window so far, but as you'd always expect, plenty of last minute deals could be made. I'm joined by Ivy Times sport reporter Tony Mogan. Tony, we'll start with the biggest story, and that's the whole deal with Juan Cuadrado moving to Chelsea and a winger, Andre Scherler, moving the other way. What's the current status of the deal? I think we're at the same point we left off on Friday afternoon. Um, it appears Quadrado is primed to join Chelsea. Chelsea do appear to have met his £26.5 million pound release clause. The only thing that could be holding up for a few more hours is where Andre Scherler ends up. Now, the player and the agent have said there is a verbal agreement with Wolfsburg, who want to bring him back to the Bundesliga. The only problem is they're yet to meet Chelsea's demands for the player. Uh, both the club and the player seem fairly confident of getting the deal done in time. It is just the case of Chelsea getting that right amount of money that keeps their financial fair play demands in place. Mourinho has been adamant if a player comes in, a player must go out with money meeting those demands as well. And I think that deal will get done as the amounts in place. Scherler leaving for 23.5 million, Quadrado coming in for a couple million more, that will satisfy both Mourinho and financial fair play. So it just does seem a matter of time before a few I's are dotted and T's are crossed. Uh, that move may also see Mohamed Salah move to Fiorentina on loan with Cadrada coming the other way, of course, just to satisfy Fiorentina and satisfy Salah, who, as again, has played a very peripheral role this season at Chelsea. Now, another deal is that of Darren Fletcher's proposed move to West Ham, which appears now to have collapsed. At the same time, you have West Brom boss Tony Pulis rumoured to be linked to the player. So, could uh, on transfer deadline day, could West Ham's loss be West Brom's gain in this matter? Definitely. I think at, uh, before the weekend, it did appear that Fletcher was primed to join them, but both Lewis van Gaal and Sam Allardyce admitted over the weekend something had gone wrong. There was a misinterpretation of what, what the move was going to be, a loan, a permanent move. Uh, and yes, uh, Tony Pulis did state, I, mean, I think in one of his first interviews for West Brom, uh, one of his press, press conferences even, Darren Fletcher was a target if he was available. And I think that sort of died down a bit after uh, West Ham appeared to be so certain signing, but now West Brom still need players. Tony Pulis still has the backing of the board to bring in players and if Fletcher does become available, which he still will be, I think United are ready to let him go, then yeah, I could see that happening, especially when there's not going to be much money involved, if any at all. Any other muted deals in these last few hours? Surely uh, Harry Redknapp's going to have to show his hand. Over the weekend, there was seemingly a shopping list of players in front of journalists at his press conference and it was just a case of names being listed out and Harry Redknapp saying yes, no, perhaps. He does seem to have a few players in mind, but he is keeping his cards close to his chest. Um, Emmanuel Adebayor is a name that has repeatedly cropped up in this window. His first future looks very bleak, despite getting a recent reprieve after returning from uh, personal reasons. Um, I think the one thing that will hold it up now is obviously his hefty wage demands. QPR I would bring players in on loan, but only on loan. Whether they have the financial backings, bring in a player of Adebayor's considerable wage packet at this stage uh, remains to be seen. But Harry Renup does seem keen to add to a striker, with Charlie Austin his only consistent source up there. Um, if he does identify the boy or his man, I don't think Spurs will have too much of a problem letting him go. Um, just be a case of whether there's enough time for QPR to get that done. Uh, Southampton seem to be also looking to bring in a man to replace Jack Cork, who joined Swansea the other day for three million pounds. It looks like Ronald Koeman will be returning to finals once again, where he was so busy in the summer bringing in his former uh, his former charges. Uh, Tony Vilhena, a 20 year old midfielder, looks to be a as like to like a replacement as Jack Cork as you can get. Someone who can come into that midfield, supplement Morgan Schneiderlin and Victor Wanyama and uh, bolster that midfield options. Because as we've seen in recent weeks, Southampton, if they've lost one of those two midfielders, they've been looking around. Uh, young Harrison Reed's done a good job coming in, but I think Ronald Coleman will feel a lot more comfortable with an extra body in that midfield. And uh, it looks as if his former club could, again, provide that for him. Well, for all our coverage of Transfer Deadline Day, go to our website, ibtimes.co.uk.